All right, if your family is like our family, chocolate is at the top of your list when you decide to give yourself a treat. With it being milking season and all of our milk goats just kitted, we have an abundance of milk. So chocolate milk or hot cocoa is on the list of treats. Now, the one thing that we don't like to do is we don't like to buy the chocolate syrup because we would only buy organic and it's expensive and it's not as good as homemade. So why not make homemade? And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So this recipe is really great because you can make it with one of two liquids. You can either do, well, let me rephrase that. You can make it with one of three liquids. You can either do water, you can do milk, or you can do cream. And obviously the richest of the flavors is gonna come with the cream, and that might be a little rich for too, for, too rich for some. Um, or the next option is the milk, which is the one we prefer because we have always have an abundance of it during this time of year. Now, again, I've drawn it with water and it works perfectly fine. It's just not as thick. Um, the milk does allow you to cook it down a little bit more and then you can also use it over desserts and stuff. But it's very simple. Um, it requires for a single batch, one and a half cups of milk. This is our unpasteurized goat's milk. If you have a cow, and obviously if you leave the cream in it, it's gonna be a little richer. Then you need one and a half cups of sugar. We use only white sugar, and that's because Zebulon cannot process brown sugar, but I know people that split the difference. They do half and half, and they like the results of it. We've always been pleased with this. And then you need one cup of unsweetened baking cocoa. Now you wanna make sure that you have a utensil, like a beater here, to help aerate, to help aerate uh, the baking cocoa into this. Okay. As you cook this, you're gonna stir it. Um, you're gonna keep beating it, because you don't want the bottom to scorch to the pan. And it's gonna help, the heating this, of course, will help get all the air bubbles out and it will make it, uh, the, all the clumps go away. So it will be a syrup. At the end of this, after you take it off of the fire, you've got two more things to add to it and then you're ready to go. Um, it does take a little bit of perseverance to get this all mixed into the water just because baking co cocoa is so airy. Um, it's not like sugar or even flour. So once you've got it to a boil, and obviously on a flame stove, um, you're going to be able to adjust that a lot faster than I can adjust mine, and it will boil a lot quicker depending on how, how, how high of a flame you have. Make sure though that you're only boiling it for a couple minutes because this is technically like a candy. And if you overboil it, okay, you're going to be working with it. It's, it's going to become hard. Uh, like think if you ever made fudge and you've cooked it too long, uh, hard like that. So just a couple minutes is all you need. And then um, see how, go down here. Um, it's a little runnier because of the heat, but once it cools down, it's going to become very much like the store-bought um, chocolate syrup that they use thickeners to make it that way and we did not we just cooked it so a little bit of vanilla about a teaspoon tablespoon whatever trips your trigger uh, the salt for some reason I waited to add this time until after I cooked it I would probably put it in before I boil it about a quarter of a teaspoon just to give it a little umph maybe even an eighth of a teaspoon you can always add more you know the old saying So when you make this, you can use this again, you can use this for cocoa or you can use it for cold chocolate milk. The one thing I will say this, okay, um, it takes a lot to shake it into your milk and it will settle back down. And that's because it doesn't have the chemical additives that many of the store-bought chocolate syrups have that immensely that into your milk. So even though it seems like um, maybe a disadvantage, it's not. It's it's all good. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Um, if you try it, please leave a comment below after you try it and let us know how you like it. Um, that's how people find out if they want to give it a try by your, based on your opinions. Uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you can share this video, please, that really helps us out a lot, especially during this time right now where we're trying to build our channel um, and have our, have ourselves 
focused on this and give you guys quality information and just quality videos and vlogs. So, all right, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.